Lesson 8, knowing when to pass the ball. Passing the ball is probably the hardest thing to do when you're known as a big time scorer, but it has many advantages. The first advantage is keeping your teammates happy. There is no harder feat than trying to go out night after night and do it all yourself. It takes a toll on your body and mind because you're taking on more than you can handle. Doing it all yourself is a short-term solution to a long-term problem. Because I started scoring a lot of points at a young age, I was able to see the effects of thinking I could do everything myself. I remember being on a team with a point guard who gave me the ball every time down the floor. I averaged more than 30 points a game, and we were winning a majority of the time. The only problem was that my teammates were less inclined to play defense and never gained confidence offensively because I was always shooting the ball every play. I was having fun until I realized it was taking a toll on my body. Scoring 30 points a game is very hard when you're getting double teamed and fouled. There are no easy buckets and it gets tougher when you take a beating game after game. <laughs> Going into the playoffs, we were favorites to win the championship until the league implemented a new rule saying I can only play two quarters. Now my teammates who really shot the ball had no confidence and had to fend for themselves as I could only look from the sidelines. To make a long story short, we lost in the playoffs because I was trying to do it all myself. This is when I learned that I had to find a way to keep my teammates happy even though I was going to shoot the ball the majority of the time. This was a lesson that I learned in that rec league at 11 or 12 and I carried this lesson with me my entire life. Another advantage to passing the ball is that it opens up opportunities for you to score. Whenever a coach sees an opponent who is reluctant to pass, all he has to do is double team him or her. The hardest guy to guard is a scorer who can find open man. It keeps everyone honest and limits the strategy of the opposing coach. This is why it's so important to study game film and come up with more than one way to score. If you want to become the ultimate threat, learn how to score with and without the ball in your hands and always be willing to pass the ball to the open man. Coach Godwin tips for lesson number eight. Don't try to do it all yourself. This is an unsustainable business model. Sooner or later, either you'll get in foul trouble or a coach will take away what you do best and you're going to need your teammates. So make sure you're willing to pass the ball to teammates to avoid this situation. Keep your teammates happy by including them in the offense, especially during practice. Uh, develop a chemistry so that you'll have better trust in them and they'll have better trust in you. Try not to be the one pass and shot player who ruins team's chemistry. Even though you may be open at times, try not to be the one pass and shot player who ruins the team's chemistry. Once teammates feel like you'll never pass the ball, they're going to stop running, and consequently, they're going to make your life harder as the defense is always ready to rotate on you.